by Megan Whalen Turner. Eugenides, Jen, is a thief. He stole the king of Sunus's um, signet ring that he puts on all of his official de declarations. Gets put in prison for life and has been waiting for months to get a way to escape. So, um, one night the Magus comes to him, says, I have a job. If you do this job, you're not going to go back to prison. Even if you fail at doing this job, you will not go back to prison. So they, they go, they travel across Sunis. They tra travel through the mountain country of Edis and into the country of Atolia. Um, they're telling stories about the old gods, but Jen doesn't really uh, take any of it seriously. He, he does his tributes, but he doesn't really consider them valid. It's just tradition more than anything. So um, they get to the river Arachthus. And the river is being dammed further upstream to fill a reservoir. And they're, they're doing it for three nights. Well, on the empty riverbed, they find a entrance to a maze. Eugenides spends the first two nights um, in the maze searching for the gift, uh, Hermione's gift, which was given to the king of Edis way back when, but from one of the gods. And it has become traditional that if you have Hermione's gift, you are the king of Edis or the ruler of Edis. The king of Sunus wants this gift in order to um, force the queen of Edis to marry him so that he can have political ties in more than just his country and he can invade Atolia. Anyway, so Jen is, is searching for this gift. He can't find it the first two nights. Um, the third night, he manages to find a secret entrance into a throne room. And in this throne room is all of the old gods, like the actual old gods. They're all there. Hephaestia, who rules all of the gods, except her father, the sky, and her mother, the earth, um, is there. And she has the stone, the gift of the Hermione's gift on a platter, which she's the one who initially gave the gift. Uh, Eugenity steals the gift and bolts out of the, um, out of the temple, out of the maze, and gives the gift to, um, the Magus. They head back to Sunus. They get attacked the first time, and the gift is lost. And they figure they can fake it now because the real one's obviously gone. They get attacked again. They get put in prison in Atolia. Um, a Tolia offers Jen to become her thief and let her, let him serve him as something other than the prisoner he would probably be, actually be back in Sudas. He refuses, he gets them out, they get to the border of um, Edis, where he is taken to, where the group is taken to um, the queen of Edis. So they go from the king to the queen to the queen. And the queen of Edis says, where have you been, Eugenides? And it turns out Eugenides is actually the queen's thief of Edis. And went and got himself in trouble in Sunus so that he would be the one chosen to steal Hermione's gift. So that he could bring it back to the queen of Edis. And he does. He's kept it in a braid in his hair. He keeps his hair long, braided, and he catches little things in there. Well, he manages to pull it out and present it to his queen. Um, not only does he bring the uh, Hermione's gift to his queen, securing her throne so that she doesn't have to marry anyone she doesn't want to. She is queen of Edis. Um, one of the apprentices of the Magus is actually the heir, the nephew, the heir, to the king of Sunus. So she, he, she has the gift that makes her throne secure. She has the king's heir and the king's greatest advisor all on her, in her land, in her palace, and she can do as she pleases, which she does. She ends up getting quite a bit of ransom and quite a few political promises out of the king of Sunus for the return of his heir and his magus.